Hello again my friends, welcome back to another First Impressions playthrough. Today we're playing Distance. This is a car driving game that I bought on sale a long time ago, and it's just kind of sat in my library. And today, we're finally gonna check it out. So, let's see what this thing has for us here. Campaign. Adventure. Let's do it. Instantization. Init wait. Instantiation. That's it. Okay. Pretty slick little intro there. Okay, we're booting up. And it looks like I am connected with the car. Like, <laughs> my arms are plugged in. Crazy. Okay. Got a countdown timer. Okay, wow. I assume trigger buttons go? Alright, they do. Whoa! Little touchy. <laughs> Little touchy. Okay. Yeah, the controls are really touchy. <laughs> Is there a list? Can we change that sensitivity? Options. Controls. Device, yep. Airflow gamepad. Steering sensitivity, let's try that. Yeah, it still jumps. But I think I'm doing better now, okay. Let's turn it down even more. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's better. Cool. Of satellite sectors, the array functions as one metropolis. From energy storage to food production. <laughs> Oops. Hold to boost. Nice. Boosting for too long will overheat. Woo! Cool. So far, it's pretty slick. I should have boosted there. <laughs> there we go. That's how you clear a gap. Yeah. Welcome to Sector 17 Transit Center.
And this whole thing has a really cool, like, electronic, dystopian, like, horror feel. Really interesting. Curving track. <laughs> There's the planet. Neat. Driving in space. Boost! Woohoo! Oops. Oops. Should have boosted there. <laughs> there we go. Detour. All right. We did it. And we're back. So far, it's just kind of relaxing and zen. I'm sure that'll change soon. Oh, uh, that's a wall. <laughs> How do I jump? <laughs> How do I, uh... What do I do about this? Oh, I see, I see. Right. Curve on the wall. Okay. Tap to jump. All right. Cool. Now we jump. Boing. Cool. Boost. We jump. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, don't hit walls. That's not good. Glitching out. Whoa. Well, that's strange. In addition to life aboard the array, the administration has installed several amenities. Visit the transit center in Sector 17 for easy teleportation between. Beam back. Here we go. I think I'm getting the hang of this so far. Ooh! <laughs> Bad move. I gotta say, normally racing games aren't my cup of tea. 
but the style of this, I'm really digging. I really like the feel and the design of this game. Whoa. Jump! Oh. <laughs> Oops. Press button 8 to reset. I don't know what 8 is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, I gotta boost and then jump. Okay. Yeah, we're falling to the planet. Not good. Okay. Boost to jump. There we go. Oh, I thought I made it. Wow. Guess not. Well, I'm learning how to fall with style, so that's cool. Let's back up and get more, a little more boost here. All right, we did it. Detour. <laughs> Screech. No entry, but I'm going anyway. Security lockdown in effect. Communication with administration has been lost. Proceed with caution. Oh, lasers. Oh, it sliced my car in half. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> My car is missing the left half. I'm still going though. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still going. And then it repaired. That was rad. That was really cool. Lasers cut. Look out. Okay. Whoa. Woo, that was close. This is pretty fun. Turn right. Oh, portals. Okay. Cool. You have successfully completed a short range teleportation. Teleportation is used for efficient travel from sector to sector, as well as for quick shortcuts. Always be aware of your orientation. <laughs> cool. Tap once to fly. Uh, okay. <laughs> I 
I found the button. Last second. The last minute I found the fly button. Alright, we're flying now. <laughs> cool. Oops. Okay. Dropped a little too high there. Okay, I need to... <laughs> okay, I need to invert the flight controls. I'm automatically inverting it without thinking. Options. Controls. Um, invert flying. Yes. They've already thought of it. There we go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think we're good now. Flight mode engaged. Okay, there we go. Pretty slick car we have here. Floating rings help reduce overheating. Alright, fly through the rings. This is pretty rad. Flight mode engaged. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you want to get on the track. Or not. Okay. Just fly over the track. That's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Re-engage. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Back on track. Yeah, I am in love with the atmosphere of this game. I'm in love with the atmosphere. Wall ride. Whoa, that was close. Glitching out here. Teleportation sequence to Earth initiated. Opening in six, five, zero, seven, eight, two. Look out. Whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, that was really close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Yeah, this game is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Oops, look out for that ring. Okay. Almost lost control there. Okay, now we're going up the wall. Ceiling. Down the wall. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Going in the red zone, huh? Dark and spooky area. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Alert. Oops. Critical failure. All life support systems have failed. Lockdown is in effect. Glitching out. Earth is behind us. Remember. Learn. Go beyond. The path ahead gives us purpose. Well, that glitching, the way it glitches differently in each eye, that is really kind of messes with you. It's very strange. Still fly in the dark zone. It's good. Uh, where am I going now? Okay. <laughs> Great. Couldn't quite see there. Oh, that's a. <laughs> Giant saw. Avoid that. That's bad. Does this car have headlights? <laughs> this car can fly and jump, but yeah, I think there are headlights. They're just very dim. No entry. Don't have a choice. Don't have a choice, I don't think. Choose a path.
ghost cars. Really weird. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I could not see where I was going. Try again. Yeah, it's interesting. There's elements of this that are like, uh, Car racing horror, which is a genre I've never thought I'd say before, but <laughs> this seems like uh, car racing horror in a way. Not really scary, but definitely like, you know, it is a little disturbing, but not terrifying. Mostly I'm wondering how I'm going to see through all the glitching so I don't hit the wall again. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my screen, I can't see. Okay, I think, uh, I think I'm better now. Man, I cannot see through that. Let's go up the wall here. No, okay. I, I can't see. <laughs> Where am I supposed to be? I, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Okay, I guess we're, okay, we, we made it, I think. Okay, we made it. No entry. Are we back in reality again? Wrong way. Obey directive, turn back. But isn't this what I should be doing? <laughs> I will not obey. I'm going this way. Oh, <laughs> okay. Apparently, I'm supposed to. <laughs> okay. Very well. I will <laughs> I will obey the directive as you wish. Okay, something blue. That's refreshing. All right, we did it. Yeah, I know it was telling me wrong way, but that's the way it had me facing, so I thought that was a part of the plot or whatever. But here we are. Okay, we're back. Too far. Oh, I got zapped. I lost my flight there. Uh oh. <laughs> this is bad, okay. 
I can no longer fly. I gotta be careful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Whew. Um, what? Use thrusters to rotate and align with road. Continue boosting while in air. <laughs> okay. So we're... We can't quite fully fly, but we can still aim. Whoa, okay, hmm. Continue boosting while in air. You know, I'm wondering if there's a way to change the view that might help what's happening here. VR options. Next spring. Third person camera intense. Okay, let's try that. It says it's intense, but... Um... Didn't seem to work yet. Yeah, I discovered the... Left bumper will sort of drift me down, so I'm trying to use that to get on the road. The camera didn't work. Do I have to quit and come back? Why? Maybe I gotta leave and come back for it to actually stick. That's probably it. Well, let's keep trying. Okay. Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to jump again. <laughs> Whoops. Crap. Well. That didn't pan out. I got on the road, but then I jumped off of it. <laughs> Don't jump again when you get on the road. Note to self. Ah. This is tricky. I'm so used to flying that this new way of uh, gliding in the air is really tricky to me. Come on. Ah. Okay, there we go. There we go. You know what's, you know what's getting me? Is that in this new drifting mode, the flying, it's not flying, so it's not inverted. I'm used to inverted flying controls. And this is not inverted. So this is kind of tripping me up. Ugh. Tricky. Yeah, this is tricky. <laughs> I'm so used to the inverted flight. I'm all backwards. Yeah, this is tricky. Let's get a boost first. Okay, that was it. That was it. You want to boost first. That's it. Cool. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Got it. That was a bit of a rocky landing there. Whew. Whoa, no. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Yeah, jump and then rotate. Whew. Gotta get the timing here. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I accidentally pushed the reset button. Bonk. Man, oh man. Whew. Okay. Oh, oh, dang, man. I gotta keep boosting. I think it's really important to do. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We're alive. Okay. We're alive. <laughs> 
Uh, didn't want to do that. Okay, going the wrong way. Oh no, I was backwards. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Not a real elegant round here. Not at all. Pretty rough going. Oh, here's a big one. Woo! Wow. Oh, whoops. No. Oops. This is a tough course. If only I could fly. Ah, uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm supposed to go under that instead of over. Nope. <laughs> no, we definitely want to go over, okay. Boost jump, got it, let's do it. Or so I thought. Huh. Well, might be time for a break anyway. This is really challenging for me currently. Let's go to the main menu. Let's see what else is here before we quit. But uh, yeah, this got pretty tricky, but I'm digging this. It's a pretty cool racing game. So we are in the main adventure campaign. We're 41% the way through on the embers level. So there's a lot here in the campaign. There's also these extra areas we haven't unlocked. Complete the adventure campaign to unlock. So two other campaigns, which is pretty cool. And there's multiplayer. What's arcade like? Sprint challenge. Okay, sprint, survive the track and race to the end. Challenge, no resetting, no checkpoints, only raw challenge. Stunt, perform crazy tricks. Let's try one sprint. Okay. Oh, Vector Valley, that looks fun. Yeah, here we go. This should be fun. Oh, wow. Okay, now we have the third car, uh, third camera perspective. Cool. <laughs> Miniature toy car, that's awesome. Oh, okay, and I, there is a button to switch live. Okay. Cool. <laughs> this is rad. Oops. <laughs> it's so cool that they have all these different visual styles inside the game. It's pretty cool. to loop. Huh, cool. 
bronze. Nice. I've earned a bronze medal. Cool. Yeah, so I'm glad I finally got to, uh, wait, how do I turn it back out of here? I can't back out. There we go. Main menu. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I finally got a chance to play this. Like I said, I bought this on during one of the Steam sales a long time ago for super cheap. The regular price is 25 bucks. But there's a lot here. There's a lot here. That was arcade mode, there's multiplayer, workshop, garage. I'm glad that I finally got a chance to play this because this is a really fun driving racing game with a really cool atmosphere, great design. And uh, obviously I'm struggling with that one challenging part right now, but this is cool. If you like racing, I definitely recommend it. Thank you for joining me. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.